Hi, this is Neil Schneider with MTVS TV at Expands Press Conference at CES 2010. I'm joined by Michael Williams, sales manager for the prof professional division at Expand. Welcome to the program, Michael. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy you're here as well. Excellent. Now, expand, expand, expand. We'd like to learn more about expand. Well, expand is definitely expanding beyond the cinema, that's for sure. We're entering into the home market. Uh, a lot of people know us for being in the cinema, and we're entering the home market with some DLP link shutter glasses. And I'll kind of get into that in a minute, I'm sure, but uh, we'll go from there. Okay, excellent. Now, when when I think of the theaters in the U.S., uh, there's a lot of polarized solutions. I haven't seen a lot uh, of shutter glass based solutions. Uh, however, Expand, I understand, is a very big name over the, over overseas. Maybe you could fill us in as to how uh, influential and how important Expand is to the, to the 3D theater market. Sure, absolutely. Well, the the difference between polarization and active, a lot of people know. I'll just briefly touch on that. Polarization has filters that essentially are on the in front of the projector as well as the glasses themselves, and you lose a lot of brightness. So a lot of producers are actually backing active shutter glasses because you're seeing the image how it's meant to be seen with as much light as you can get for 3D. So that's very important, and that's why overseas has been adapted because we're an overseas company. We're from Slovenia. So now that we have uh, established ourselves in the U.S. and we're starting to get into a lot more theaters uh, stateside, I think a lot more people are going to start seeing our glasses in uh, the commercial cinemas as well now. Excellent. Now let, let's talk about the home market. Uh, we're seeing a lot of 3D televisions on, on the show floor at, at CES 2010. Uh, can you elaborate a little bit as to which types of televisions Expand is, is likely to work with? Absolutely. Well, let's first talk about the ones we're holding in our hands right now. These are actually the DLP Active Link glasses, and these work with a DLP 3D Ready enabled TVs and projectors such as the one behind us now, which has the fabulous Avatar game on uh, Xbox 360. Uh, so these will work with essentially any DLP Link 3D Ready TV or projector. And we have another version, I'll just kind of reach over here real quick, uh, that's IR based, which would be more in line for the gamers. So essentially what would happen is you have an outboard emitter that would plug into the computer uh, via USB, and now you're able to essentially use uh, these glasses with your gaming unit as well. Okay, can you elaborate, uh, you know, at CES we've been hearing a lot of techno babble about DLP and infrared and, and the whole kit and caboodle. Can you elaborate as to what DLP is and, and why it's, it's so critical for your product? Sure. DLP is essentially a Texas Instrument chip that's inside the projector or DLP TV. And a lot of people already know this, I'll just kind of briefly touch on it. A DLP chip has millions of mirrors that move back and forth. Uh, every millisecond. I mean, it's thousands of times a millisecond. Essentially, what this DLP chip is doing is it's enabling light to do a white flash on the TV. And this white flash is communicating with the active shutter glasses that are DLP ready. And what that does is that'll essentially communicate with the shutters to go left and right, open and close. And that's in place of IR. Now, where would you need the DLP versus the IR ones? Well, a lot of high-end homes are going to be using DLP link. For example, you have the very high-end projectors, a very high-end DLP TVs. And actually, a lot of people don't know that their DLP TV might already be 3D ready. Uh, I know Mitsubishi and Samsung have been doing it since 2007. All you have to do is go inside your menu and see if there's a 3D mode. If there's a 3D mode, you're ready for these glasses. All you do is plug in, for example, the PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360, pick up the Avatar game, put it in stereo mode, and put on the glasses, and you're w ready to go. I mean, it's as simple as that. Soon, there'll be movies. Soon, there'll be other content. Uh, right now, the DLP glasses are going to be really big in education and, and then eventually transition into the home. Now, when I think of DLP, I, I usually associate with something called a checkerboard pattern. Is, is what we're talking about here different from the, the classic checkerboard DLP pattern? No, DLP is checkerboard for a DLP TV. And it, it's no different than what you know as checkerboard is, and, and that's exactly what it is. Okay, excellent. Now, uh, f for for gaming, do you, what 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 are Expand's thoughts on on stereoscopic 3D gaming in the home? I see that we're looking at at Avatar here, but what's what's Expand's official position on it? Well, 
we back gamers 100% for sure. I mean, I'm a gamer myself, so I know. I, and, and if anybody's going to stand up, I'm going to stand up for gaming and expand. So uh, we definitely want to support gamers any which way we can. And we're going to do whatever we can to make sure that our glasses are compatible so you can enjoy your games in 3D. Because everybody knows, I mean, 3D is the talk of the show, but everybody knows it does add a new dimension to playing a game. And I know when I first picked up, on December 4th, picked up the Avatar game, I was definitely blown away by what my TV was able to do. So I... Excellent. Now let's talk about the glasses themselves. I mean, th there have been shutter glasses on the market I mean, for years. This isn't the first time we've seen shutter glasses. Are there, uh, you know, s separate from the synchronization and, the, you know, the wireless part, are there qualitative advantages to expand glasses versus other solutions? Are you referring to other solutions as being like a passive or ours being an active versus another active? I was thinking active versus active. Like, are there differences between shutter glasses brands? Uh, are there, like, is there a qualitative difference between between glasses? Well, uh, well, first off, I mean, it's not a quality thing, but you can see we're holding multiple different colors, and you can see the different colors on the uh, display rack there. We've we're trying to appeal to all markets because. Adults are not just going to use these, kids will, and, and everybody's going to use these. So we kind of took the fashion angle. Now, as far as quality goes, uh, there are some things that our glasses are a, a little bit different on it versus the competitors. I, I mean, I'm looking, I'm looking at the solution. I understand there are, are nose pieces and, like, like what's, what's being done to make, to make the glasses more comfortable for, for the end user? Well, we've spent a lot of time on the bridge of the glass to ensure that it fits over your glasses now. Actually, you should try them on to show everybody how easy it is. I mean, these are made to fit over your glasses as it stands. And, and that's a big disadvantage to a lot of the other active shutter glasses. And I'm sure you've already been around the show and you've seen the different shutter glasses. You've probably tried them on. I'm sure they're not going to fit as easy and as cleanly as these do on your on your nose, and uh, that's that's really the direction we went. Because if you have glasses, it's a disadvantage when you have to take those off to try to watch a 3D game or play, you know, watch a movie or play a 3D game. So, excellent, excellent. Uh, oh, <laughs> so we got the avatar going on here. Now, uh, tell me, I understand that uh, Expand has had, uh, I wouldn't call it a working relationship, but I understand that uh, Jim Cameron has sampled your glasses as well? Absolutely, and I think you may have seen that in the press conference. Uh, Jim, uh, James Cameron did have our glasses on for the Tokyo premiere of Avatar, uh, him, his wife, and John Landau. So it was very cool. And uh, I, I think that uh, he saw it how it was meant to be seen. And, and I think that's the good thing about active versus passive. It, you're, you're seeing the movie how the producer meant for you to see it, as bright as it could possibly be. Excellent. So what I'm hearing are a lot of good things. Comfortable glasses, positive viewing, well-received by audiences across Europe, and, and I gather expands going for the home market as well. Absolutely. And easy to use. Don't forget that. Because essentially, once you have a DLP TV or DLP projector, just throw the glasses on and you're done. Simple as that. You don't, there's no special wiring or special maintenance needed. Of course, you have to turn on the 3D mode in the TV, but that's about it. Excellent. And what's the availability of X Expand glasses in, in, in around the world, in North America and in Europe? Is it available now? Can people start using them today? Yes. There are glasses available today on our website, but we are creating packaging, and it will be in the mass market, so you will be able to purchase a beautifully packaged Expand glass uh, in, in your local store. Excellent. Well, thank you for joining us on MTBS TV. We've been we've been talking to Caesar. Did you have some final words for our, for our gaming members? I, I, I was just jumping the gun and saying thank you for being here, Neil, because it was definitely a pleasure. See, I like to throw the guests off. Uh, <laughs> we've, been, we've been talking to Michael Williams from Expand. This is Neil Schneider, MTBS TV at CES 2010. We'll be back with more.